Good morning, folks. We're starting today with the best of all possible upticks to match yesterday's predictions. We often see unusual location upticks of lower magnitude rather than the bigger quakes on the normal high activity zones. We always prefer the first one. Two fives in the Atlantic, a swarm in Central America, and a five-pointer in California. Above average no matter how you slice it. We're one day from a new moon. It will take place tomorrow around lunchtime in the U.S. Top article today comes from my favorite group of folks over at climate.gov. They're discussing the difficulty in doing successful solar radiation management, which is their code for spraying the sky. There's a lot of issues with it, so here's an idea. Just don't do it. It's a light weather day. Calm in Europe with some cold to the north, but they can handle that. Minor system blocking skies over New Zealand, while the northeast Australian coastline will see pop-up storms again. Our top watches start with our first Uyen system candidate. We discussed the connected solar eruption last night in the evening news. The conference saw Kong demonstrate that eruptions and their arrival 1 AU from our star affect Earth electrically. We took two blasts last night. We'll come back to in greater detail. But this morning, we do see a strengthening of System 26 into a significant concern. This will end up being named. Quickly wrapping weather before going back to the blasts. High pressure regulating in the Atlantic, but the relevance for the United States is on the western edge of that forcing. Slamming heat and gulf moisture into colder, drier air, and the equalization of their potentials will once more drop severe warnings across the southern portion of its convergence. Please, again, keep eyes open in the storm zone tonight. Let's start space weather with the solar wind. We're all calm, but a little bit of variable density is causing our shield to put up a forearm. Work for his meal this morning. Looking ahead to the incoming coronal hold behind the current one, that could really ramp the quake watch as you see the darkness encroaching from the left side on SDO. Okay, back to these solar blasts. We've had two M flares, but we'll monitor all the relevant sunspots. First, the departing group is complexing and heading towards the magnetic portal to our star, so watch for polar radiation upon any eruptions there. The M flares both came from that spot we told you to watch. Folks, I hope you're beginning to see how easy it is to spot a magnetic mixing within the sunspots, and you'll know where the flares will be. Real quick, I'd also like to mention the incoming southern group. If she grows, the complexity is already present. But back to our focal point, those two M flares belonged to her. According to Iswa, the initial blast will just barely miss Earth, but April 1, as they reach 1 AU from the star, we should see intensification of the tropical storm or the development of the new one. Let's zoom in on this group in 171 angstroms to see the arcs in the corona, the umbral magnetic fields. You see that the top right portion where that magnetic mix was occurring is the violent area. However, when it releases a flare from there, it has genesis at the delta spot and ripples and surges the entire active region. You should be able to clearly see this. When we zoom out, please note that the two M flares on the right are complemented by releasing filaments to the left. Neither of those filaments will be earth directed either, but they present together four solar eruptions last night a Uyen system candidate now through the impact 1 AU away from the star, and we will watch for more eruptions. All activity is taking place on the northern side of the sun for now, sharp change than most of last year. Real quick, time running out to show your support for the observatory project. I'd love to come shake your hand on the road, but if we could also take a photo by your name on the RV, that'd be even better. A lot of folks are planning to get their website or business name in the name slot, and that's totally fine. We appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Current conditions. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.